Now, the most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with meteorologist Juan Acuna. Hi everyone, welcome back. A very good Monday afternoon to you. Lots of cloud coverage today, a completely different weather pattern than what we had this weekend with lots of sunshine. Our first community bank, Mike Shakia, six weather book showing all the cloud coverage. If you look closely out on first community bank towards the marina, you can actually see how windy it was. You can see it blowing uh, on the on top of the water there, but really not a nice day today, but still warm despite all the cloud coverage as we got into the upper 70s. Uh, right now we're at 78, but 80 out in Valfuria, 78 out in George West as as well with middle to upper 70s all along the coastline and the winds they have ramped up. We talked about the winds increasing yesterday and they have uh, certainly done that for today. Sustained over 20 miles an hour near the coastline and as we look at the peak gusts today we got to 35 miles an hour officially out at the airport. Almost everyone got up to 30 miles an hour with the exception of Ingleside 29 there but 33 out in Orange Grove. The cloud coverage that we had today led to a hundredth of an inch of rain and there's been some mixed in light mist, very light mist and drizzle. But again, it's not amounting to a whole lot and we can expect much of the same going into tomorrow, Wednesday and on into Thursday as well before we start to increase the opportunity for some rainfall on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. But none of those days are looking like a washout and we could definitely use some rain up to the north though, up in the Panhandle and off in the Permian Basin. That's where they do have a, a decent and good chance of rain. In fact, they have a, a severe thunderstorm a watch that's already in effect and this is right along the dry line. This had vex to the east during the day and it provides lift in the atmosphere and that's what causes some big time showers and storms to form. So that's why the Storm Prediction Center already has that watch up for those folks and then it'll move back to the west. It'll retrograde as we go into the nighttime hours. But here's what we're watching. We're watching this frontal boundary up in the Rockies that's starting to ride across the Rockies with cooler temperatures behind it. Just cooler though, not cold. We're talking about temperatures only into the 50s and 60s behind the front and out ahead of it here in South Texas included. Temperatures are into the 70s and 80s, but the big upper level storm system, we talked about this earlier, when they dive all the way down to the south, that's when we get some of the cool air, but this is just going to ride down to the south and push up to the northeast. So it's just going to be a big wind machine for us here. We're going to keep the winds all week long. There goes the high pressure ridge to the southeast. There goes the upper level low to the west. So we're going to conti uh, continue to keep a continuous flow of some cloud coverage and we're going to remain under the influence of high pressure. Notice the low pressure moves just to the north of us. So as we go into the weekend, this will provide a very good opportunity for some severe weather up to the north of us, but we're going to be on the tail end of this activity. So just isolated at best uh, for some thunder showers as we go into Saturday and on into Sunday as well. 70s for tonight. It's going to remain breezy as well. 80s for tomorrow afternoon, cloudy, warm and windy. South southeasterly winds 20 to 25 with some mixed in drizzle. Upper 70s to lower 80s along the coast and getting closer to 90 for our inland communities. And you can see overnight it remains breezy. And then on in the afternoon, there the winds staying around 20 to 25. And as far as cloud coverage is concerned, you can see a couple of mist and drizzle early in the morning. And we continue with that opportunity as we go throughout the afternoon as well. So we go to 73, 82 tomorrow, 74 and 87 on Wednesday. Again, just a little bit of light mist and drizzle. But as we go to the weekend, that's when we have the Navy Army night parade. We do have some thunder showers possible. Not going to be a washout. We're going to have to watch it pretty closely, but it does uh, present us with the best opportunity from rain and highs remain in the middle 80s. Lee, Priscilla.